everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this silky satin cami and shorts pajama set. Um, I saw these pajama sets sold at ASOS and I've seen pictures all over social media and I wanted to see if I can make it and so here's the tutorial! Instead of going to the craft store to get my fabric, I went to the thrift store instead. I thought it was going to be cheaper and it was. I got this big pajama top for $2.50. And so this video is going to be a DIY a la Cool Irpa. If you guys haven't seen her videos, um, go and watch them. I love her videos. She's so talented. Anyway, to get started, I decided to use the sleeves for the top. And I tried to seam rip it, but it took forever. So I went at it with my scissors instead. And after that, I also cut off the sleeve seams. I used this shirt that I already owned to make a pattern and if I were to create another one of these sets I would extend the triangles higher and make the top flowy and as you can see the cami was a bit boxy I actually had to take in the sides more because it was too wide but then I took in too much so then I had to add more fabric because I wasn't able to get it past my shoulders and it was a mess anyway I decided that 10 inches was a good length and I added a half inch seam allowance to my pattern. I also traced the back and I used my front pattern piece as a template by marking the armpit area and the bottom for the height of the back piece. I laid out a piece of tissue paper before laying the fabric because it helps to keep the slippery fabric in place as you cut and I find it best to use a rotary cutter so the fabric doesn't shift while you're trying to cut it and it is much faster but if you don't have one it's fine you're just going to have to be more careful with your cutting and I also cut out the back piece using the same method after that I placed them right sides together and sewed down the sides using a straight stitch for the straps I cut out a strip that's one inch wide and I recommend just making like a really long piece and then cutting it down to size next I fold the strip in half lengthwise with the right sides together and sewed using a straight stitch to turn it inside out fold one end a little bit and snip the corner that's away from the seam allowance and then insert a bobby pin with the wavy side on the inside and then insert the straight side through the hole like what I'm doing here then start pulling the fabric over the pin and feeding the pin through the tube until you reach the other side. I decided to add a facing to my top, so I took the pajama top again and cut off the side and shoulder seams. Then I cut around the neckband and I used the front of the shirt for the facing. I traced the top of the pattern pieces with chalk on the wrong side and then I cut it out. I also cut them down to the height that I wanted for the facing, which was about 2 inches. And I sewed the two facing pieces right sides together using a straight stitch. Then with the cami inside out, slip the facing piece into it so that the right sides are together just like this. Now this is the tricky part. To attach the straps, place one end in between the front cami piece and it's facing at the point of the neckline. Pin that and do it to the other side. And then take the other end of one of the straps and sandwich it between the back piece and it's facing. And then do it to the other strap. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Then sew around the top of the cami using a straight stitch and after sewing, snip along the seam allowance of any curved edge and also the points of the triangles, which I forgot to do, but do that. And you can also use a zigzag stitch to prevent the fraying of the seam allowances. And so after you do that, 
hem the facing by folding the seam allowance twice a quarter of an inch towards the wrong side and then sew a top stitch about a quarter of an inch from the edge. For the shorts, I cut the back of the pajama top in half widthwise and I just used my shorts pattern for my t-shirt romper video. I folded down the pattern pieces an inch and a half at the waist so that it's not sitting high up on my body. When cutting the shorts pieces, make sure that the two pieces mirror each other. So I cut out the first piece and then I flip the pattern over and then cut out the second piece. Next, sew along the curves using a straight stitch right sides together. I also used a zigzag stitch on the curves and also the waistband and leg holes to prevent fraying. Now, cut a piece of elastic that fits comfortably around you and sew the ends together using a zigzag stitch. Next, quarter it with pins by folding it in half, then marking the folds with pins, and then folding it half the other way so the previous pins line up and marking the folds again with pins. Quarter the shorts as well using the front and back seams as a guideline. Then sew the elastic to the shorts by lining up the first pin, then sewing it while you stretch the elastic to the next pin. The zigzag stitch should catch only the fabric on one side and then the elastic on the other, just like this. After that, fold it over and stretch it as you sew the band using a straight stitch. That's good. Then sew the crotch part and sew a zigzag stitch on the seam allowance to prevent fraying and then hem the leg holes the way we hemmed the cami. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do make this, please at me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!